Blue Roof Nation, it's your boy Jonathan, and welcome back. You know, I've been uh, I've been scouring the comments section for a while. I don't know why. Not my own, because I get very few comments. For those of you who do comment me, thank you. I love you dearly. But uh, other comment sections, and what I've been seeing, frankly, terrifies me. I don't understand how people would be so negative and hate-filled, like, who, who didn't love you as a child? I mean, honestly, if people reacted to shit in real life the way they did online, the world would be a much scarier, darker, fucking twisted place. I don't know, I just, I, I don't think that's true. Fuck you, you Nazi piece of shit. You're worse than Hitler. Nazi piece of shit? Because someone disagreed with you? If someone has a differing opinion than yours, they're as bad, if not worse, than Hitler. So all those people that Hitler killed and put in ovens and just destroyed whole lives, they're all less important than your opinion. You can't just accept the fact that people have differing opinions and maybe see the world slightly different than you do. No, no, no. That makes them Nazis or Hitler. That is the most insane, conceited thing I've ever heard in my entire life, and yet it's rampant on the internet. Oh, and God forbid you really disagree with someone, because then, no, no, they won't just call you Hitler. That's far too kind. They'll take action. Okay, okay, maybe they don't actually kill someone. They sure do throw around death wishes and death threats like nothing, man. You can't go on a website, read common board, without someone wishing death on somebody else. I mean, the notion that someone should die because their opinions differ than yours is just insanity. But I guess that's what the internet's for, you know? Building yourself up and making yourself feel better by tearing others Damn, down. Damn, girl, you ugly. Why are you so ugly? Why don't you just do the world a favor and rid us of your ugly ass face? Because, damn, you fucking ugly. I mean, damn. Someone post a picture and you attack them for it? Is that really needed? Like, why? Why so much hate? And if that wasn't bad enough, no. It's always followed up with that one last step towards total Creepsville. I mean, girl, you fucking ugly and all, but maybe we can go out sometime. Why don't you let me see, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cut it off right there, because it, it gets kind of gross after that. I'll never understand how people go from being so hateful and just evil to creepy perverts in a matter of seconds. It's the wonders of technology, I guess. Uh, yeah, but... None of that is as bad as those annoying ass people who respond to everything on the internet by correcting people. I mean nobody, and I mean nobody, would be that rude in real life. Ugh, you do that all the time. Okay, okay, fair, fair. Maybe I'll scrap that one. Whatever, but the point remains that the internet is a crazy filled place where people say the most heinous and hateful things that no, nope, nobody with any common decency or empathy would ever say to another human being in the real world. But the internet's a digital world, so I guess it's a whole other set of rules. But uh, let me know what the meanest, craziest thing anyone's ever said to you in the comments below. Or the nicest, randomest comment that didn't turn creepy. I mean, that'd be nice too. Uh, if you liked this video, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, give us legends.